Hey guys, Andrew here from Around the Fire. Um, I just want to do a real quick little tidbit here. Everybody, I see everybody chiming in on this Bud Light stuff. I know me and my buddies personally haven't been drinking it. So here's my opinion, right? They fucked up. It was stupid. If you like the beer, you like the beer, right? Whatever. I'm not going to harp on you. But here's my opinion. I guess I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible so we don't cover every little nook cranny and detail of like this greater issue forgive me here but this is my little op-ed on this okay um bud light you know it's a take it or leave it beer right we got lots of them right bud light does this woke bullshit you know us as men i can at least speak for us as men i think and say that like we're just sick of this shit you know we're just sick of this shit everywhere. You know, we're sick of the lies. We're sick of being lied to. We got a government that's just lying to us nowadays. Flat out lying to us. And if you if you don't think your government's flat out, just... The government's never been good for anything. Like, you, you know, hell, back in the day, they used to tell you the more government you have, the worse off everything is. The longer it takes, the more money it takes. And we're listening to all that bullshit now and them feeding us this crap about how everything's the best it's ever been. And it's not. It's fucking terrible. You know, everybody's broke. Everything is broken. Ugh, and it's just getting worse and worse, right? You know, and then they're just going to keep uh, selling out our interest to everybody else, you know? And then we got somebody like Bud Light that was at least something we could come home to, right? We could come home to a cold fucking beer at the end of the day, pop one open with our boys, sit around the fire, you know, have a fucking chit chat with the homies. And, you know, no, no, now it's got to be fucking this Caitlyn Jenner wannabe on the can. Yeah. You know, and then the, how they're going to apologize to you. They're going to not apologize to you at all. They're going to run around in circles around the issue instead of just saying, our sorry, or we're sorry. I sent them this. I'm going to put it up in there. Um, so I told them, like, on their Facebook, I was like, yo, guys, this is free. It took me 10 minutes. You re-edit this however you want. But this is what you do. You know, you just say, our fucking bad and own it. You got to own it. And everybody will laugh it off and walk away from it. You know what I mean? But the fact is that they kept just, like, doubling down on it. And then they would say, like, oh, no, I think you're, like, misinterpreting what we're trying to do here. Like, we're not trying to, like, say we don't want to be a part of, like, this community anymore. We just want to include this one. We're just about inclusivity. And then they were like, no, I mean, maybe we're not. Maybe we don't need you. We'll just, like, survive. We've survived tougher things before. And then they're like, no, wait, please come back. Like, but they still just won't say, you know what? We fucked up. We fucked up. We forgot who we were. We forgot where we came from. We forgot who got us there, and we forgot to be grateful for you. And Americans just speak with their fucking money now. Like, whether it's a Democrat, lefty, crazy person, or whoever, the one thing, you know, there's this cancel culture bullshit with I don't I don't necessarily agree with, but, like, at the same time, I'm not going to, when it comes to my money, my hard-earned money, I'm not going to spend my money on shit that doesn't align with me somehow. Like, I'm not going to go to a fucking store that says a guy like me that looks like me with a mohawk and a beard and tattoos is not welcome there where I got to maybe dress down or dress up to be in there. I don't go out. I'll go out to a nice restaurant with my wife, but I don't go out to like super fancy fucking places to eat because I don't drive a fucking Tesla sports car and have a fucking suit jacket. I don't even own, I have like, I think I have a suit jacket. It's like a fucking medium. So that bitch definitely doesn't fucking fit me anymore. You know what I mean? That's how long it's been since I had to wear that. I think it was from like my, my wedding you know, three, four years ago. And maybe I had one before that for like somebody else's wedding when I stood in it. And I think I like rented it, you know? So that's not me. You know what I mean? We're coming home. We want a beer. We just, you know, want to relax because we're inundated with this shit everywhere now. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm talking about my opinion to you right now. That's part of it. Boom. In your face. You know, this is my opinion. And it's, you know, you know, it doesn't have to be yours, but it's somebody telling you their opinion. And it's there. It's in your face. And then like your phone, you pick up your fucking phone. Right. I mean, you check your text messages. It's like, do you need dick pills? It's like, well, I don't know, maybe. Fuck, wait, I'll let's be honest here, I'll try them, you know? And then, like, fucking, uh, you know, chronic pain, chronic this, you know, like, are you dying? Everybody's dying, like, the world's coming to a fucking end. Support this guy, support that guy. He ads everywhere for this, that, and the other thing. You know, commercialism, commercialism, everything's terrible, we're all gonna fucking die, you know, this pandemic's over, but now there's a new pandemic. And all you wanna do is come home and have a fucking beer. A fucking beer, man. You know, some people smoke a doobie. You know, I'm a fucking guy that works with guns. I can't smoke weed. That's not my fucking thing. I never liked it. You know, I come home and I want a fucking beer, right? And what do I want with my beer? I want, like, maybe a steak. You know, maybe some potatoes. Maybe sometimes a twist of lime in that bitch. You know what I mean? But what I don't want is a fucking op-ed on my can, right? I don't want a fucking beer with an opinion. I want a beer that calms me down, that cools me off, and gets me fucking drunk.
right? And I think that's what the rest of you want to. Now, I could be way off on this one. You know what I mean? But this is our fucking country now. And it's fucking crazy. This is so fucking stupid. And then, to boot, guess what? Guess what fucking happened the other day? I'm a... I'm a Miller High Life guy, so I was drinking Miller High Life, and Miller sales are actually because of this. I guess I've gotten a little bump, right? Here comes Miller out of left field, like, hey, hey guys, hold my beer, hold my beer. You think you fucked up? Wait till you see what I'm about to do. And they come in with, boom, a lot of Glazer. If you're not familiar with a lot of Glazer. I mean, I'll be at a very hot woman, nice, nice, you know, and you know she was funny in the uh, what was the show? The, um, my wife loved it. God, the guys at the tattoo parlor back in the day used to watch it too. It was the uh, Broad City, the Chicks in the City, you know? Funny show, right? It was a woke, lefty show, but it was funny. You know what I mean? And, you know, it wasn't forcing anybody into this shit. It was just what it was. Now, this lady, you know, obviously she got her place in Hollywood and then, you know, started using Hollywood to push her feelings on stuff. Now, I mean, when I call her radical, I wouldn't call her radical, but she's obviously an opinionated, you know, wealthy. I'm not saying she didn't work for it, but. That's my two cents. Like, she's not in the same place we are. She can have her opinion. There's free speech. But again, again, right? Why is Miller trying to sell this shit to me? Right? Why is Miller trying to sell me that if it wasn't for fucking women, there wouldn't be beer? And men are just shit again. This men are shit mentality. Like, I'm talking to you guys here. And I'm talking like an asshole. I'm being an asshole. But we don't go treat our women this way. You know what I mean? We don't go out with our wives, our children, our daughters, our cousins, our sisters. We don't treat them this way. We we have respect for women. We are men here. We're being men here. You know, we're talking about fucking beers and coming home and having a fucking beer, right? What the fuck is going on? What is going on in our culture and this fucking white male toxicity shit? Oh my God, dude. Oh my fucking God, dude. All right. So... We need a fucking volcano in the middle of the ocean to just fucking erupt right now, right? Right? Just erupt for, like, the next couple of years. Create, like, a whole new utopian Hawaii type thing. And then just all of us fucking white males, we move there, right? And then we just basically say, like, hey, any women that want to come with us that are, like, down, that are down for this new adventure, come along, too. And we're just going to start this, like, whole new utopian society of... We're getting the fuck away from whatever the hell else is going on. We're just going to cut ourselves off. We'll be like uh, some fucking like X-Men shit. We'll have like a fucking force field dome. All right. Somebody out there in the comments, science guys, figure that one out for me. Work on that force field dome. Okay. And uh, let's find those uh, active volcanoes and go out there and poke at those fault lines and try and get this project going. Because I can't deal with a whole lot more of this, man. My God. I mean, I'm joking, obviously, but my God. Uh you know, like, how much money do you gotta gotta have to be this stupid? Like, I didn't mean to get into this. Now we're eight minutes in, and I'm sorry. But this is, like, how how rich and stupid do you gotta be to not just be like, you know what, we're selling beer. You know, if we had just put camo on the can or something and not made it stupid and done dumb shit, it probably would have sold. Or, you know, when Fourth of July comes around, if we had put the fucking American flag on it and made it look fun, you know, you know, gave everybody a little flag to stick in their bottle with the box. You know, everybody would be like, oh, yeah, that's fun. I'm going to a party. That's fun. You know, that's the kind of fucking marketing that works. Why everybody now, like, I mean, did you guys not watch what Coca-Cola did, like, a few years ago and almost went broke? Please, guys, just give this shit a fucking break. It's like, did everybody take fucking stupid pills? I mean, I, you know, I am I consider myself a relatively intelligent guy, but I am definitely not the fucking smartest person in the world. I have drank enough beer in my lifetime to kill more than half of my fucking brain cells, so I'm already, like you know, behind the fucking ball on that one. But, it's just, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at you guys and I got a beer in my hand and I'm like, whoa, like, whoa, man, what the, uh-huh, you did what? Eh? Like, my buddy showed me this video last night. Did you hear about what Miller did? And I'm like, no, what? And, and I even watch Liberal High Man. I promote Liberal High Man all the time. Liberal High Man did a video on it, but I was working on it. I didn't get all the way through it. I was watching it. And it was more about, like, Bud Light doubling down. And then at the end of it, they're like, hey, Miller did it. And it's like, oh, God, here we go. All right, that's my two cents. Sorry, got a little long-winded on that one. What do you guys think? Sound off. Till next time.